Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain my code in depth. So I got a request asking me if I can explain my code in details. That's true that I didn't really explain my code in details because simply I didn't have time to do that in my previous videos. So I wanted to focus on like how the data should be analyzed in the experiment. So I didn't have time to include explanation about this function works this way or this variable behaves like this way or this loops works like this way blah blah blah. So in this time I want to focus on one line by one line. So you probably understand my code more and more after watching my video so obviously my code is kind of long i mean i wanted to make my code as simple as possible but to do that i have to make it long kind of so my idea is i'm gonna explain one section by one section in each video so if you have a question or if you have like, something you don't know you can find the section and uh, you can watch the particular video you didn't really understand so let's start so i'm gonna start from import the data section which is right here so obviously this is a code to import the data first of all i'm gonna create a variable which contain the name of the seat so the matlab code and the emg data uh, on my blog so you can download it and uh, yeah you can open it in your computer and uh, you can do exactly the same thing I'm doing now if you have MATLAB and uh, data. So what you can do is you can just uh, drag and uh, drop the, the Excel file and uh, MATLAB code or you can go to home and uh, click import data and uh, you can import the Excel file. Anyway, so I already imported the data into MATLAB and uh, let's see what data looks like okay so this is a raw data and uh, it's i mean the format is the excel file so like as you're probably familiar with the format there are five seats so this is the first seat second seat it takes time but like yeah third seat fourth seat fifth seat so i already explained the experiment i did so I put the EMG on my hamstring, bicep femur, and the semi tendon on it, right side and left side. And I did Nordic hamstring curl five times. And uh, this is just the corrected data. And uh, five times, so five sheets is reasonable, I guess. So that's the data in Excel file. So what I did in the first line here is just to uh, save the, the name of the seat. So Nordic 1, Nordic 2, Nordic 3, Nordic 4, Nordic 5 and so on. And uh, if I run this, I created the variable called seed. And uh, if I open it, it's just the name of the seed, right? Then there is a for loop here. So I mean mainly there are two types of loop, for loop and the uh, while loop. I usually use for loop because it's useful. You can define the counter variable in for loop while loop is useful when the counter variable doesn't work uh, for, I think for loop works really good in this experiment so that's why I'm using for loop I'm gonna explain how while loop works when I have to use while loop in my code but I don't think there is while loop in my code but yeah maybe next time I will explain while loop but for loop you can put counter variable so it could be whatever but like I put i because it stands for index and the uh, i goes from 1 to 5 that's what I defined so you put equal sign and 1 semicolon and 5 so semicolon between numbers mean something to something so 1 to 5 so the for loop loops five times in total and uh, goes one by one. So I put counter variable right here, for example. So I store data one by one. 
which means in the first loop I'm gonna store the data in first in this case cell and the second loop I'm gonna save the data in second cell third cell fourth cell fifth cell and so on so on as as it loops so that's what counter variable means then I use the function called read table so this function can save the data I mean recognize the data in your folder in MATLAB and save the data into variable I made right here so the variable name is data now but I guess it could be whatever x or emz or something like that but yes output is just save the data of this excel file so first input argument so whenever I say input argument it's something inside bracket after function so the first input argument is the in input argument before the first comma so each input argument is separated by comma right here and right here so I can say this is the first input argument and this is second input argument and this is third input argument so that's how it works so the first input argument is name of the excel file so emz nordic.xlsx exactly same name as it appears right here and you have to put a double quotation mark it could be single quotation marks to be honest but you have to put double quotation mark to allow MATLAB to recognize this is just a name if you remove the quotation mark MATLAB recognize oh this is maybe a function or this is maybe a variable you created or whatever like that so you have to put double quotation mark so that's what I did right here I just want to create the name of the excel sheet right nodic 1 nodic 2 nodic 3 so that's why I put double quotation mark here so that's the first input argument so the second input argument is seat it's just a seat so what I'm doing right here is telling the function read the table like okay so this is the job I want to do so I put the name of the job which is seat and I'm gonna define the job which is name of the seat I created right here so what I wanna do is the in the first loop I want to open this excel file and the job is to extract the data in seat number one or seat name nodic one then save the data into variable called data in first cell so that's the first loop procedure and second loop is same I want to open this excel file and the job is to extract the data in seed code nodic2 and save the data in data in second step and the third loop fourth loop is and the fifth loop it's, it's the same to be honest I don't really remember what kind of job this function can do I mean obviously seed is just one of them and if you want to find out what this function can do you can simply just google it or you can use this search and uh, you can get a brief explanation about the reader table so for example format is another job so you can create any type of format you want to extract the data so obviously as I explained so first input argument is name of the file so obviously this is a text file so the extension is txt and the second input argument this this guy find the job title format and uh, define the job which is just old so the read table function automatically save the data of this text file and save the data into t and the format is just automatic or maybe it's kind of default I would say trying to find it. yes if you want to customize the format to extract the data you can just put the format I mean the job title comma and you can define the job just like this trying to find uh, another so you can find a lot of job titles like file encoding or date locate lead row names interesting something like that so if you are not sure what kind of job this function can do you can just type 
the function name right here and the size it and uh, MATLAB helps you with that. So let's run this for loop. Okay, so this is the data I stored from Excel file like this. So this is seed number one. Looking it's kind of different from the Excel file I opened it with here, open. But now data is exactly the same as the data in Excel file right here. So data is perfectly stored into variable right here. By the way, this is second seed. So you may wonder why I use curly bracket right here. So I said I'm gonna store the data in cell. So this is what I mean. So this is cell. Each data is stored in table format in cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, cell 5. Cell array is useful when you have different data format or different dimension. So as you can see, data dimension in the first cell or first seat is about 29,000. But the second seat is 21,000. So the data dimension is different. So obviously, if you want to store the data in table format, for example, it doesn't work. Because in table format, you have to have exactly same row numbers. So row numbers do not match in first seat and second seat. So table format doesn't work. So how about matrix? Matrix is the same, so the dimension has to be the same, first of all, and it has to be vector, string, or character, something that, like that. You cannot use table format to store the data in matrix. I'm gonna explain how matrix works in later on because I think I used it somewhere. So, but in this time different dimension and uh, since i'm using table format for each seat i have to use or oh, there is a, another way actually you can use struct but this is i think kind of easy way so i just use cell array so you just need to put curly bracket around the counter variable i if you want to use cell array you just need to use just simple bracket like this but like obviously it doesn't work because the data dimension is different and I'm using table format so I'm just using curly bracket and save the data into cell array and uh, that's it for import data section if you have question you can leave a comment on YouTube or you can just follow my Twitter and uh, you can message me privately I'm trying to respond your comment or question as soon as possible. So please reach me out if you have anything. So thank you for watching my video and uh, next time I'm gonna explain how to protload data. So see you soon.